I am Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question on surface area and volume of cylinders. The question here is a 10 cm by 6 cm rectangular piece of paper is folded to make a cylinder. Find the possible volumes of the cylinder. So that means there could be more than one example. So that gives you kind of a hint. Now see it like this we have a rectangle correct so you could draw a rectangle like this and then fold it to get a cylinder which will be kind of like this right so that is one way you could do it you could also draw the rectangle in this fashion and when you fold it you may get a cylinder which is kind of like this so as you can see we have two scenarios here right so now I hope you understand the question we could get possibly two volumes two different cylinders I'm not sure whether these volumes are going to be same or not so you need to figure this out so you can pause the video answer the question and then look into my suggestions so let's begin with the very first one so a 10 centimeter by 6 centimeter rectangle so this is 10 and this is 6 right all units are in centimeters is here so when I fold in this case height will be 6 but what is the radius so the question is what is the radius why do I need radius because I know that the volume for a cylinder is pi r square h so I need to find the radius of this particular cylinder now to find the radius I know this length is getting folded into that circle so that means 2 pi r the circumference of this circle should be equal to 10 so that gives me an idea of the radius right so from here r equals to 10 divided by 2 pi right or we can write 5 divided by pi so we get the volume here as pi times 5 pi r square right so 5 times r is 5 divided by pi whole square times height of 6 and now we can use calculator and find this value perfect so that is one way to do it so I hope you got the method can you apply the same method and solve the other one and let me calculate this answer right so let's calculate this answer so so pi so we have uh, uh, let's use 3.14 for pi right so pi times within brackets 5 divided by 3.14 whole square and then we have times 6 so that gives me in decimals let me write down so 47.7 so that is what it gives me 47.7 Okay, so that is the volume and the units will be centimeter cube. Perfect. So that is what I found. Let's do the next one. In this case, 6 is this and 10 is the height. So when I fold it, right, so I have a very thin cylinder, right? So in this case, the circumference, which is 2 pi r, should be equal to 6. So, so the radius r is 6 over 2 pi or 3 over pi, correct? Now, in this case, height is equal to 10 centimeters. So, the volume is pi r square times height, which is pi times radius of 3 over pi whole square times height of 10, right? So, that is what we are going to get. So, let's figure out what is this. So we have 3.14 within brackets. We have 3 divided by 3.14 whole square. And then we are going to multiply this by 10. So we get in decimals the value as 28.6. So, so you notice that in both the cases there is huge difference in the volume of what you make. Correct? There's a lot of difference, right? It is the same amount of paper and the way you 
you fold it and make a cylinder the capacity is different right so so the question now here for you is uh, write or provide example where you can apply this knowledge now the knowledge you acquired is that if I make such a thin cylinder in that case I'm not really getting a good amount of volume it is nearly half right so I mean only 40% volume correct but if I make a cylinder whose what we noticed here is when I say radius is 5 by pi let's convert that to decimals just to give you an idea 5 divided by 3.14 is actually equal to uh, 1.6 approximately right so this is 1.6 so in this case the diameter is 3.2 correct now so the and in this case it is instead of 5 it is 3 much much lesser so that is what you actually see now here is a very important thing to remember which will help you and that is to say that to maximum so the volume increases right for maximum volume for maximum volume height equals to diameter in cylinders okay so this is another very important thing which I think you should know that for maximum volume the height is equal to the diameter so if I kind of change this ratio instead of this is still 6 plus 10 is 16 so I have a 32 this uh, perimeter right I have perimeter of 32 so if I could make it almost same right so in that case we might get maximum volume of a cylinder so your question could be that if you have area equals to 6 times 10 which is 60 if you have area of 60 surface area of 60 what could be the maximum volume of a cylinder you get an idea so that could be another question from this particular example so this is extremely important example which makes you understand that if we have some metal and we want to use that metal to form a cylinder so that we could hold something we are looking for its maximum capacity in that case we should actually have a square type of a metal right to get the maximum volume and we should not make this kind of a small pencil thin uh, cylinders because that is not going to have a more volume i hope that makes sense feel free to write your comments and share your views if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for watching and all the best